Oh my goats, oh my gosh. We have some goats and they are so hysterical. Uh, well, and my cows, no, I love my cows too. Well, we have two cows, um, Connie and Ronnie, obviously. Connie Cowstein, Ronnie. Um, I love them so much, I can't even tell you. I've been still asking for a giraffe, I keep saying it. You know how badly I wanna rescue a giraffe? How do we make it work? <laughs> So we are at our ranch today, which I'm so excited. I found this five or six years ago and I wanted something away from LA. I love being an actor and I love the business. I really do, I've been in it my whole life. I know nothing else for 30 plus years. But I knew that I needed a special place that wasn't that. Um, and that felt more grounded, felt more real, felt um, more family oriented because I do love that side of my life, but this is equally as important to me. I've ridden horses for a very long time. It's a passion of mine. And I met my trainer slash dear friend slash manager of this place, Tracy, and she's been my trainer for years. And after a while of riding and traveling all over the country, show jumping and going to horse shows and kind of experiencing that dream outside of being an actor, I was like, I want my own, I want my own ranch. Like I want my own place. And I wanted a place for my family and my family's family and my, my child and um, my brain. And I kind of thought it up and Tracy and I spent a long time kind of looking at locations and places and we found this one and we brought it to life. I come out here and there's no phone, you gotta get on and you ride and then you get off and you go grab a carrot and you go walk in to see the little animals and they're all running up to you and it's like, oh my gosh, like it, you just feel so honored. Basically this ranch is half show horses, half rescue animals. And you name the animal and we probably have it. We even have ones you've probably never heard of before, like a zonkey. We have a zebra slash zonkey. Hi, JD. That's JD, in case you were wondering. Obviously I rescue dogs and everyone knows that about me, but I've really expanded to farm animals and I've learned a lot about that. And even, you know, thoroughbreds and horses off the track and really anything with four legs is welcome here. <laughs> we don't really turn anyone away. It became this magical place over the past five or six years that Tracy and I have built together. It also is an important place, you know, my family, like our families have had so many events here, um, so many life altering moments, so many parties, birthday parties. Um, my daughter got her pony here for Christmas. Hi, spoiled child. Um, you know, it is what it is, whatever. This place has brought a lot of joy to my family, my friends. I mean, my friends' kids come out here. They stop by any time, they feed the animals. It's like in kind of an open door policy, like go in, bring an apple, you're more than welcome. And I just, this place is very special. Can I name all the horses? I can probably name all the show horses. Oh God, let me look at them, let me look at them. Okay, we got Vulcan, Benji, um, Cody, Carlotta. Um, uh, Happiness, uh, JD, Larissa, oh, Tenny, um, Sharon, Poker Face, Noble, the outside ones, <laughs> the rescue, then we have the rescues. Those are most of our show horses. I think I got all of them. The goats live with the pigs, live with the chickens, live with the ducks, with the mini horses, with our dwarf ponies as well. And they all live together. And it's kind of beautiful because I think people think like, oh, you can't put that animal with that animal. And, it's really not how it goes here. They all, you put them in and they all kind of decide who's kind of the boss of who and they just figure it out. When I cyber stalked Tom and looked at his Instagram before we met and I was doing the deep dive, he had this dog in all these photos. I'm like, oh, he's got this big German Shepherd and every photo had this dog in it. So I knew, okay, at least there is some sort of love there for dogs. So then when we met and he told me how much he loves animals and he wishes he could have so many. And after a few weeks of dating, I'm like, I wanna bring you to this place. He came out to visit me right when we started dating. I'm like, I have this like little rant. It's hard to describe to someone, right? Like I said, I just want you to come out. And he came out here and the look on his face when he got to meet all the, he said, this is, I never could have imagined this. So six dogs later, he knew that <laughs> that's a big part of our life. I said, Matilda, if you don't like animals, I'm sending you back. Like that's, this this what's gonna happen. This is, you're forcing this love of, luckily one of her first words was dog. So it was mama, dad, dad, dog. So that was like a really good sign. I have been bringing her out here since she was three weeks old. 
Um, I have video of us even in the little animal area with them, all the goats coming up to her and every animal has kissed her and licked her and I was like, this, this is a good thing. She's already getting germ free. I'm like, let's just get it all. I've introduced her to every single horse. No matter if she ends up riding or not, I think it's a great place for a kid to grow up, like learning responsibility, like having chores, like taking care of the animals and seeing how animals live together. And it's so important to us in our house um, for her to see how animals are treated and just kind of living in it. It's so wild because she's lived with so many animals. I don't know if she even notices them. Having animals in your life when you're in your darkest days is probably the time you want them there. I mean, I remember being at the lowest of the low. Norman was there with me and I mean, laying on the floor, you just, you have those moments and they're just like there for you. And then if you wake up the next day and you're fine, they're there for you. Like these dogs, they change your life. They change your life for the better. They show you so many things and they show you such a beautiful side of life and they show you gratitude and constant love, no matter what you do to them. These dogs come from these horrible situations and Norman did, Norman came from the worst you could imagine. Um, and he was my boy for you know 13 years and I, I still, he changed my life. I mean, I named my production company after him. I named my pet line after him. Um, he lives on forever, like what a beautiful legacy. There's nothing like having that love of your dog. Like it's, human love is different than pet love. It just is, um, it's very special and there's no um, no judgment. They just are there 24-7. You see the growth and how they thrive here. They're all so happy. They're like such happy animals here. And to be able to give them that second chance at life, a lot of them are so much older. It's like living out their golden days out here. It means the world to me to give them that. Um, animals mean the world to me.